What's up guys? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Antigua. Today we're going to be talking about North Kiteboarding Boards and our favorite boards out of the entire lineup. Let's go. Yeah, now tell me where all of my riders at. Okay guys, so as you can see here we got a lineup of a few different boards here. These are kind of the main ones we've been using. So we're going to bounce into Megan and have her kind of run us through her setup. I use two different boards. I have the Atmos 136 and I also use the Focus 136. So as you can see, this is my mainly my boots board. Um, you can also put straps on this one too, um, but I use the Atmos as my strap board. Um, so bouncing back to the Focus, um, I love this one because when you're riding, you feel really connected to the ocean. You just feel like you've got a really good pop and then when you land, it feels like you're just really solid. Um, so yeah, this is perfect for doing tricks and freestyle stuff. Um, if you want to ride boots. Um, if you're really into strap riding, then I definitely say that the Atmos is probably, I mean, it is my favorite strap board. Um, it's also 136, so I'm five foot three, five foot four on a good day. Um, I weigh 115 pounds, so this is really good for me. It's the perfect size. It's lightweight, um, so to carry it around and move it from one spot to another, as well as doing jumps, makes it really, really easy, super easy and friendly to use. And yeah, I'm just messing. Right. Uh, that was great, Baba. So it was yeah, really that, good, that's Megan's setup, guys. That's Megan's setup. <laughs> Sometimes she like tries really hard to explain the fine details it. of boards, so everyone kind of gets it. But she really likes this board for boots and the Atmos for straps. And I wanted to throw my joke in about like the boots matching the board because that makes you ride better. Yeah. And I forgot to add that in, so I wanted to come back to this board, but then <laughs> I was still talking about the Atmos. And yeah, guys, this this is this stuff really isn't that easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did good, Bob. You did awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, thanks for that, Megan. Killed it. Now, we're going to jump into my favorite board. So, first off, we're going to talk about the Flare. So, I'm riding a 143 here, which is a bigger size. And the Flare is the perfect boot slash freestyle wake style board. I mainly have it just because of its rocket line. It's super smooth with water. So, pops super good, lands really good. And it also has slider base on it which for me is super handy because if you're hitting rails sliding up the beach riding in a rocky area having that slider base is nice especially when you're riding finless as well because you're always end up pushing it and going places you shouldn't really go so having a tough bottom is nice and that's mainly why i ride the flare and that's solely my boot setup so whenever i'm going to unhook do anything like that the flare is my go-to and then over here we're going to talk a little bit about the atmos hybrid so this board is actually one of our school boards so this is a 144 so this is not the board that i actually ride but i wanted to kind of show you guys this board because i usually ride the atmos carbon which same board as megan but in a 138 and that board is wicked man that brought my love for strap riding back if you guys have been following for a while you know i've mainly ride boots for a long long time but having the Atmos Carbon as well as the Flex foot straps has been super fun, kind of getting back into big air, little one footers, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, overall, these two boards, Atmos Hybrid and Atmos Carbon are sweet because basically they're the same layup. The Atmos Carbon is just a little bit lighter, a little bit stiffer. So if you're like a heavy, big air type of rider, that's kind of what you want to get. But if you don't want to spend the extra dollars to get the carbon set up, the Atmos Hybrid is, is a really good go-to as well. That's what we teach all our students on and they seem to really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, those are kind of a, that's kind of it. That's a bit quick breakdown of our setups. Uh, it's been super cool just having access to all of Norse Epic gear and they have so many different like products in the lineup. Um, and we're just starting to get a, you know, feel for all the different stuff they make. So yeah, those are our top and favorite boards from North Cape Boy. You. Alrighty guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got a little bit of value from this video. Uh, we'd love to know what your favorite board is and what your favorite brand is. Mm -hmm. Please drop it down in the comments below. Yeah. And as always, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for future videos. And if you're ever coming down to the Caribbean or Antigua, make sure to hit us up. Yeah. We just started a kite school here in Antigua and we basically do kite lessons, hydro foil lessons, kite trips, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'd love to share this talk with you guys if you ever make it down this way. All right. 
yeah. guess see you guys soon in another video. Peace, love, and big ups. Big ups. <laughs> Thank you.